thank you. I've been experimenting with those new volumizing shampoos. Now I've got fluff. <laughs> oh, guess what? I ran into Eileen this morning at the health club. I'm so happy for her. Happy about what? You haven't heard the news? What news? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you talk. <laughs> Come on. What news? Al, she's engaged. What? Uh, you know, I could have heard it wrong. Oh. Boy, Kate, that happened so fast. She... Eileen's changed her whole life around. And, and I've done... Nothing. But your hair was so good. <laughs> Bouncing and behaving guy. 
You just gotta get out more, all right? Why get out? Heck, I'm over at your house twice this week for dinner. <laughs> you get out and meet some women. You gotta get back in the saddle. You're right. No, I'm right. What am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? Gotta get back in that saddle. Saddle. Back on that horse. Oh, horse. Last saw that future Mrs. Borland. Yippee! Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, yeah. Hey. Howdy. You wanna go out Saturday night? <laughs> So, when's dinner? 6.15, same time as Sam ever had to see. Al, uh, what's that that date tonight? Well, it wasn't really a date. This lady selling Amway said she might call back. <laughs> to be home, waiting for the call? No, I gave her this number. <laughs> and if she doesn't call back, well, that's all right, too. Because I'm here with the people I love and people who love me. Orlon, you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Boys, dinner's here! <laughs> so, chicken, huh? Well, you always forget the moist towelettes. <laughs> Do I? Where is my mind? Not to worry, I got some emergency towelettes in the car. Emergency towelettes? Then you can't get a date. <laughs> chicken. Oh no, you know how much Al likes chicken? Al likes anything. Hide the drumstick so we don't all stop. It's ridiculous. He can't just spend all of his free time here. I've got a paper due Friday. I can't get any work done. I mean, drive us nuts. You keep following me around, asking me how I meet women. <laughs> Amazing. A grown man is desperate as Mark. Got to find him a woman. Well, if I want to meet people, why doesn't he go on the internet? He tried that. He ended up having coffee with a 60-year-old stripper named Vince. <laughs> Got the talents! <laughs> I also found some packets of hot sauce in case tomorrow night we go south of the border. Uh. <laughs> Al, um, it's not that we don't love you coming over here for dinner night after night after night. After night? <laughs> but uh, I was thinking that maybe, I don't know, you could go out to the dinner again. Have you ever, have you ever considered going to like a, a singles bar? Oh, I tried that once. I spent the whole night alone at the bar. Building a fort out of swizzle sticks. Well, Al, you can't go to a singles bar by yourself. You know, you need to take a friend with you. That way you feel more relaxed and confident. Well, I, I don't have any single friends. What about Wilson? How about Ben? No, 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 no. You want to attract women, that would help. Well, okay, then, then just take a married friend. Take Tim. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Tim. Would be willing to go bar hopping with you tonight? I would. Yeah. That's great. All right. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Excuse me a second. Back the open marriage mobile up, okay? <laughs> you want me to go out and look for women? Well, I'll either that or, or we could just have Al here for dinner every night for the rest of our life. Dad, if you love your family, you'll go to the singles bar. Chris. <laughs> Get to the bar for all the good women are taken. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you the least bit worried that some woman might fall for me? No. <laughs> You're only going to be there long enough for, for Al to meet somebody. That's not long enough for anybody to fall for. You need to wear this tie. What's the matter with this tie? <laughs> well, it's fine for business, but it's no good if you want to get some action. <laughs> I'm not looking to get any action. I know, but Al is. You're supposed to be part of a, a team. You know, you gotta go upstairs and change your, your pants. You know, you should wear those black jeans. The tight ones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta show off that butt, you know? Why would I want to show off my butt? For Al! <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think that going after another woman wouldn't be that bad of an idea. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, okay, you don't trust me, we'll just go get a totally objective opinion, okay? 
Okay, Jim, spin for your neighbor one more time. <laughs> oh, what do you think? He's going out now. I want him to look good. She says that she wear tighter pants for Al. I say I look fine. What do you say? Well, how does Al like his men to dress? It's not for Al. It's for the single women. They're hoping to pick up at the single bar tonight. Oh, silly me. How could I miss that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a good show. Oh, I certainly hope not. Al's been really lonely lately. He's been hanging around our house way too much. So I volunteered with Ken to go with him to a single bar for a moral support. I think this is ridiculous. Well, Tim, there is no sacrifice too great to make for a friend. In the words of the very famous wise man, KC in the Sunshine Band, <laughs> shake your booty. <laughs> it's not your booty. <laughs> Actually, Tim, I've gone to far greater lengths to help out a friend. I remember when I was in Japan, my old flame Miyoshi was too ill to attend a cooking contest. So I donned her kimono, applied a light blush, and submitted her spinach wasabi rice cakes to the judge. <laughs> so for a friend, you dress up as a woman? Oh, absolutely. I walked away with first prize. <laughs> and a marriage proposal from the vice president of Toyota. <laughs> so you see my point. What? Well, I want you to go upstairs and stuff yourself into those jeans. And then we're going to talk about some pickup line. I can use the same pickup line I used on you. I don't think she's really going to lie. Sorry, I curled on your shoe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 